Hey Paula and Philadelphia Cream Cheese. Thank you for coming back to my kitchen one more time. Hi, I'm Paula. Remember me? <laughs> Did you miss me? <laughs> well, anyway, I'd like to also say hi to all my new friends on Real Women of Philadelphia's website too. I've met a lot of really nice people. Hi. <laughs> well, tonight I am going to demonstrate for you Salmon Dilly Philly Cheese Dip. And that was inspired by my love for salmon and dill dip. Um, so let's go ahead with the recipe. The first thing I did is preheat the oven to 350 degrees. And then I processed the salmon. And what I did is season a five ounce salmon steak and you can use anything you like to season it. What I used was lemon juice, dill, and salt and pepper. And I just baked that in the toaster oven for 10 minutes at 400 degrees. And while that was baking, I got the other ingredients together. And those ingredients, which we'll place in the mixing bowl, are 16 ounces of Philadelphia cream cheese, and two green onions chopped with half of the green from the top. And one cup of finely grated Swiss cheese. And two teaspoons of fresh, fresh dill chopped. And for seasoning, I have a half teaspoon of dry mustard, a half teaspoon of powdered lemon powder, and salt and pepper. And half cup of sour cream. And then we'll kind of flake up our salmon a little bit here and stick that in. The mixing bowl too. Okay. And last but not least, we'll have two cloves of fresh garlic pressed. Everything's nicely incorporated in here, but I just want to take a moment. I was so excited telling you about the salmon and how to get it ready and everything. I forgot to tell you that you rub a little macadamia oil or any oil of your choice on the salmon. It helps the seasoning to stick and it gives it a little nutty flavor. So anyway, make sure you do that when you're preparing your salmon too. Um, everything's all incorporated here, so we'll add it to a 9-inch round baking dish. Um, you can also use a square one. Either one will work. put this in the baking dish, kind of spread it in there, and then we're going to let this bake at 350 degrees for about 20-25 minutes. As soon as it looks a little golden brown on top and it's bubbly on the edges, then you know it's done. But 20 minutes, 25 minutes is the most you're going to need. So back here when it's done. Welcome back. I think it's ready. Yep. Perfect. Okay. Now what 
we'll do to dress this up a little bit is add a lemon slice and a sprig of dill. And we'll let that cool a few minutes and then we'll be back. Well, the dip's all nice and set up and it looks very pretty. So, now all we have left to do is enjoy. Serve it up with some crackers and you've got an instant party hit. <coughs> Really yummy stuff. I think you know what I'm going to say next. <laughs> Always infuse love and passion into all your creations to ensure perfection every time. Till next time. <laughs>